Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here kindly click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates and also for you to be updated in all my uploads here in my YouTube channel. Okay, so for today's video we are going to have the voice classification. What is voice classification. It refers to the characteristics of a certain person's voice. So how many classifications are there? Let's go and we will find out here. For basic choir, there are four main voice classification. Here are those. For the female, the lowest registered voice is alto and the highest registered voice is soprano. Well, in the male voices, for the bass or the lower voice of the male is what we call bass. And for the highest register of male voice is tenor. So we are done with the basic choir classifications okay so we are now uh, about to discuss about the solo performers so what are the types of voices when it comes to solo performer so they have a few more classifications of their own now for female we have the soprano Soprano is the highest vocal classification for females. Some further classifications for soprano include coloratura, which is the very high range and vocal agility, lyric, bright and full sound, and dramatic, which is the darker full sound. And we have the mezzo-soprano. So mezzo-soprano is the middle classifications of the female voice. Some further classifications for mezzo-soprano includes coloratura, lyric, and dramatic. Now let's define contralto. So contralto is the lowest classification of female voice and the most rare because um, they will hit the very low tone of a song. So it's very rare because most of our singers nowadays are what we call the biritera, which is um, leading to or getting or reaching the highest tone of the the song some further classifications for contralto include coloratura lyric and dramatic now we have the counter tenor okay the counter tenor is the highest male classification Some further classifications for counter tenor includes sopranist, a soprano range, castrato, and haute contre. Now tenor is the next highest male voice classification. Some further classifications for tenor include Legriero, the high and light quality, the lyric, and dramatic. Now also we have the baritone. The baritone is the middle male voice classification and the most common. Almost everyone can have this baritone. That is why this is the most common male voice. Now some further classifications for baritone include bel canto, 
or the color coloratura, the lyric and dramatic. Now, we have also the bass or the bass. The bass or the bass is the lowest male voice classification for male. Now, some further classifications for bass or bass include basco contante, the high and light, dramatic, and the basso profondo, which is the lowest bass voice. So those are the classifications of uh, voices when it comes to solo performer, okay? So in the first part of our lesson or this discussion, we have the, the, the voices from the choral or the choir, okay? Which are the four main voices, which are bass, and tenor for male and soprano and alto for females okay and for the solo performers we have a lot of class classifications okay and that is the question for you so which is for you what kind of voice do you have okay and uh, also So it depends on more than just range, okay? So your voices can be classified according to the range of your voice. Okay, so range and tessitura, where the voice is most comfortable, and timbre, the voice's color, all help determine voices type or voice type. Now, a typical voice does not mature until a singer is in their 20s. Okay. So don't be surprised if your classification changes when you reach the age of 20s. Okay, so that is the voice classification. Now for you who are watching right now, kindly comment your voice classification. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Goodbye.